Hi, I'm Dr. Messina. Whenever I get a patient coming in for laser tattoo removal, one of the first questions that's always asked of me is how many treatments am I going to need? And my answer has to be something that no doctor wants to say to a patient. And honestly, I don't know. What I can give them is a statistical accounting for how many sessions it's going to take. And we base the number of treatments off that. Anyone who comes in and says you're going to need exactly four or exactly seven is really not being truthful to you because there are too many variables to be able to say exactly how many sessions you're going to need. What most of the medical practices do is base the number off something called the Kirby-Desi score. Dr. Kirby is a dermatologist on the West Coast. And a little over 12 years ago, he did a study that I personally think is on the genius level because laser tattoo removal was still relatively young. And he took a lot of data and came up with a calculation to give you a very, very close approximation to how many sessions you're going to need to remove your tattoo. I'm going to go over that with you today. Remember, click subscribe and hit the bell to be alerted to future videos. The Kirby Desi score takes into account several factors regarding your tattoo. All of these factors have a point value. At the end, we add up those points and it gives us a rough estimate of how many treatments you're gonna need. So by using this score, I can give a patient a rough estimate of how many treatments statistically it's going to take. So let's look at this Kirby Desi score. The first thing is your Fitzpatrick score, which is your skin tone. It goes from one to six. Each increment up is a darkening of tone. Fitzpatrick one is a very fair individual who cannot tan, they simply burn. Fitzpatrick six is very, very dark skin. Most patients fall somewhere between Fitzpatrick two and Fitzpatrick 5. And depending on your skin tone is going to be the first calculation, anywhere from one to six treatments. Next was the location on the body. Head and neck tattoos tended to take one treatment. We had to add two for upper torso, three for lower torso, four for proximal extremities, in other words, thighs and upper arms, and five for distal extremities, which would be wrists, hands, fingers, and toes. Next was the color of ink. Black ink being very receptive to all laser wavelengths, only one treatment had to be added. Black and red, two. Black, red, and say blue, three. Multiple colors, four. Next, volume of ink. An amateur tattoo consisting of a bunch of little stipples might take one a tattoo with a small amount of ink, two, moderate amount of ink, three treatments, and a significant amount of ink, in other words, a tattoo that's just ink all throughout, four treatments. The next parameter would be scarring. If there is any scarring, and most tattoos have a fine scar in there, if there's no scar, there's no added treatments. And then we have mild, medium, and moderate, and severe scarring. So that could actually go up to five extra treatments, depending on if you have a tattoo that happens to have a lot of thick scarring in it. And then finally, we take into account if this is a cover-up tattoo or not. If a tattoo has no cover-up, there's no added treatments. If there is a tattoo on top of a tattoo, two extra treatments. And basically, adding up this Kirby score will give you a ballpark figure of how many sessions you're going to need. The average tattoo tends to take between 10 and 11 sessions. Now, even though we have this score, there's still a little variability into it. There's no taking into account what's in your ring because there might be an oil in there or there might be minerals in there that are making it a little more difficult to laser. So all of these intangibles are important in the number of sessions that you're gonna to need to remove your tattoo. I hope this answered your question. Have a good day and stay safe.